Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I got I got my friend Jolene back. Hello. Hi Jolene. Hello. How are you? Hi. I'm alive. Yeah. I'm living. You did it. I breathe another day. Good. No, how upset I would be if I woke up one morning and you just ceased to exist. I'd be very sad. Like I'm dead, or is that it's like I disappear and no, like well, you or, died or some shit. I'm right, really sad. <laughs> uh oh, nice. Nice. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> I too would be upset if you if you passed unexpectedly. I need I need you at least. Like if I die first, can you be dramatic at my funeral? Like when you go up to the podium and like say some nice words, I need you to be like. That son of a bitch, why did you have to go? And like make a big scene, start bawling your eyes out, going onto the casket. In, in, in the, like, are you open casket or closed casket? Oh, open casket. <laughs> I'm literally gonna pull you out of the casket. <laughs> I need you, yeah, you like <laughs> grab like, onto. No. I'm gonna like fight you. Yo, yeah, yeah, you like you grab onto like my shirt that I'm wearing, you pull me off, like, like, have me like sit up as you're holding me, you're like, you son of a I, like, bitch, you can slide me. Take you, your head, your like, head falls <laughs> off your body. <laughs> and don't worry, if if you die first, I'll do the exact same thing. I'm like, you son oh, of a bitch. Oh, please do not. Well, oh, <laughs> no, no, I won't, no, I won't do that. I'm <laughs> like, please, why did you have to, like, just, just be a very emotional. I'm gonna make you seem like a legend, cause you are a legend. <laughs> wow, you. Thank yeah. You. This got morbid. Anyway, we're reading about Baluigi. <laughs> reading about Mario. <laughs> we just started talking about our death and funerals <laughs> during this Baluigi read. <laughs> yeah, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> anyway, we're reading a Baluigi story. It's very good, very very emotional. It really tugs on my heartstrings, with with this little, little Bowser Junior little father son like relationship he has with Luigi, and then Bowser's in jail, and I think we're about to see the the conclusion of him in jail because this chapter is called Punishment Fit for a King, so maybe they're figuring out what to do with him now. Right. Luigi, please. <laughs> wait, wait 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 wait. Let me think about it. Luigi, break Bowser out of jail, and my life is yours. <laughs> you know, my life too. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. Oh yeah, you two for one deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Luigi gets our lies, and he's like, I'm not, I'm not sure what to do with this. <laughs> Alright, chapter we 7. We just become bodyguards for Bowser Jr. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were about to say for Luigi. I'm like, maybe he does need some bodyguards. <laughs> He's got Bowser. He's yeah. good. Yeah. I'll tutor his son. I'll tutor his son, Bowser Jr. Beautiful. Bowser Jr.'s gotta know everything about science. And I'll teach him how to take, like, do tax fraud. <laughs> the two skills he needs. You know how to do tax fraud? Well, I'm an accountant. I know how to forge shit, you know? I think you need to- you need to hush hush <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> I pay my tax- I literally pay tax my taxes! <laughs> I mean, if you say so, man. If you- what, if you bro. say you paid your taxes, you paid your taxes. Hey, I submit my tax form every day. I would wait, every year. Every day? Every day? Yeah, Every that's year, around April, I always submit my taxes, mm -hmm. and I always owe a shit ton of money, because uh, the government doesn't like me, so... <laughs> Interesting. If you, if you say so. Anyway, do you want to be heads or tails? Uh, tails. Alright. How did you do that? <laughs> you always... I do it every time. <laughs> I, I always get it. I, something really essence comes into my brain. I was gonna pick heads, but my brain's like tails, Jolene. You know? How do you? You're like that a. Good. You're like a witch. <laughs> hey. Leave me be. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was gonna get threatened for a second. I like held my breath and everything. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wait, I gotta check something. Okay, good. I. I don't have it set, so finger is replaced with nublet, so... Alright, good. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't think we'll use the word finger, but... I don't know, see. you never know. 
Tev Town was silent. The kingdom that resonated with laughter and chatter turned into a place of whispers and fear. Following the princess's decree, the tiny frugal citizens stayed in their homes for their safety. They were to remain indoors for the duration of the trial. It was a safety precaution in case King Koopa broke free. Oh, in case the Koopa King broke free. However, it is unlikely the tyrant was shackled by chain chomp steel and trapped behind small magic barrier. It was purposely claustrophobic. A precaution and a threat. Try anything and we will crush you with no hesitation, they said. All ru rulers from the affected kingdoms gathered in the grand meeting hall. Guards of all kind were stationed at every entrance and exit. The castle was on lockdown. Toadsworth nervously reached into his de vest and pulled out a pocket watch. He watched as the seconds ticked past twelve, and the hour hand moved accordingly. It was time. In a few moments, the being responsible for so much destruction and fear finally faced his judgment. Leaning on his cane, the royal advisor sighed and put his watch away. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why I'm nervous. But you're nervous to see the results of the, of the trial? Yeah, like, I'm just like, oh god. It's gonna be like that one, like... Please. <laughs> I'm trying to... Please. Oh, it's gonna be like that boondocks thing where he's like, he is guilty! <laughs> and everyone no. shouts that. Princess Peach sat on her throne, her hands resting on her lap. The young princess was accompanied by Toadsworth and Toadette, her lady in waiting. Peach's face was a stone mask for her safety and the well-being of her people. Bowser was a conniving and manipulative fiend, exposing her emotions would allow her to mess with her mind, and she will not fall victim to his tricks. She glanced at the other rulers, nodding her head respectively. Fellow monarchs sat on either side of her. Peach recognized her closest friend, the muscular queen of the bean, bean kingdom, a main provider of food and trade, King Boreas of the Snow Kingdom, one of the closest allies to the mush of Mushroom, and lastly, the representative of the Rosaland Empire, her dearest cousin, Crown Princess <gasps> Daisy. Oh my god, Daisy, yes! Daisy, let's yes! go! Also, I love that they brought up the Muscular Queen from the Bean Bean Kingdom. That's a reference to the Mario and Luigi uh, saga series that was like old as shit. I love that for them. <laughs> I'll have to look at that up later. Yeah. Suddenly, the large doors open. Mar and Luigi walk through the entrance, grave expressions on their faces. The Super Brothers swiftly took their place at the foot of the throne and placed their hands in front of them. The central circle of the floor opened. Machinery resonated from below. The revered leaders held their breath as a pair of sharpened horns rose from, from below. Bowser stood in his shackles, glaring daggers at every being present. A stream of smoke exited from his nostrils. The tyrant king clenched his fists and shook his chain. Gasps and yelps escaped from the onlookers, especially Luigi, who flinched. Mario furred his brows and sent Bowser a warning glare. The Koopa King smirked. Peach scowled down at him. Such disrespect will be tolerated, and she will not let that bastard terrorize her kingdom or her friends. Peach took a deep breath. Leaders of the Alliance, I have gathered you here on this day to put an end to a long time so, she says. Thanks to the combined efforts of our heroes, Super Mario and Luigi, and myself, we have defeated and arrested King Bowser Koopa. The princess's voice oozed authority. Everyone turned to her. Mario and Luigi stood by, obediently waiting her command. Peach stood up and steepled her hand. For years, my nation and allies have lived in fear of the Dark Land. Every day, we would arise and look upon the horizon, fearing the sight of dark clouds, the voice. But no more. We will see a beautiful sunset when we look to the skyline. A euphony of agreement floated through the room. The Super Brothers smiled ever so slightly before putting back on their neutral expression. Princess Peach sat back down on her throne. 
King Koopa, you are here to face judgment for your attack on the Allied Kingdoms and the theft of the Power Stars, he said. As well as the destruction of our capital city, added Davy, and terror terrorism of our lives for nearly three decades, further remarked the Penguin King. Peach nodded. Bowser has been terrifying the hearts of citizens practically since his ascension to King 30 years ago. His military prowess bloomed over them. The Koopa Kingdoms is entirely on stolen land and slowly expanded through hostile papers. Not only that, but Bowser's allies were just as horrible as himself. King bob the Womp King. I'm sorry, every time I read the word Womp, I just hear you saying Womp Womp. <laughs> I'm glad I, I made an impression. <laughs> the Spectre rulers, etc. In their, in their twisted quest for power, they have formed the Koopa Troop. And with Bowser at the helm, nonetheless. Princess Peach raised her hand. Thank you, my friend. Because, your extens because of your extensive record, a guilty verdict is guaranteed, she said. But the laws are clear. As a ruler and the accused, you have the right into a defense. You have the floor, King Bowser. Oh shit, he's got a lawyer? <laughs> Who the fuck is his lawyer? <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> yeah, Luigi comes in like, you can't- It's actually you. It's actually you. You're the lawyer. Oh my god, Phoenix Wright you comes Phoenix in. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll be a good lawyer. I think I'd just get Bowser put in prison faster. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh god. I'll be like that bumbling fucking idiot that I, I, we see sometimes in uh, like SVU cases where they're like the defense attorney it, like has no brain they like left in the other room. <laughs> I'm like, how did you get past law school? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> For the first time he came to the rifle, Bowser looked around. His ruby red eyes scowled at the foreign rulers. Then glared at Mario and Pete before settling on Luigi. The princess readied herself. It would appear he found it amusing to take advantage of his anxious nature. His cruelty truly knew no bound. No, knew no bound. However, Bowser's gaze moved away as quickly as it settled. Huh? He raised the chain, the chain <laughs> hand and stretched the muzzle. Sparks flying as his claws scraped the metal. The heroic twins turned to Peach. The princess nodded, obeying her highness's command, and they walked towards the bound ruler. It was not easy, being so close to him was frightening. The magic barrier could not contain his flame, but not with uh, the magic barrier could contain his flames, but not without enveloping them in the inferno. Their movements had to be careful to not set him off. After a few minutes of struggling, they succeeded in removing the muzzle and quickly stood respectively in front of the throne. Bowser, Mas Bowser massaged his jaw, groaning, and he shook his head, then refocused. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you've got some nerve, wench. The courtroom gasped. <gasps> there was a ringing in the air. Oh, you, you're the courtroom? <laughs> yeah, I'm the courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm everyone. <laughs> I'm the lawyer, I'm, I'm, I'm the, the You're jury. You're the lawyer, the prosecutor, <laughs> I'm the, the judge. Jury, the <laughs> I'm also the prosecutor. You're Bowser. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the defendant, the victim, <laughs> the lawyer. <laughs> he said they're stunned. Her cousin shot, her, shot to her feet, but the Bean Queen forced her down, despite the outburst. Bowser continued to speak, his voice eerily calm. You paint me as this villain that cares nothing but power, he growled. In your eyes, I am selfish, but you don't know shit about me. King Boreas grimaced. King Koopa, this is your one and only opportunity to defend yourself, to plead your case. I don't regret my actions. So there's no point in even attempting to apologize, he snapped. I did what I had to do. Besides, you've had this coming for years. Everyone flinched at the cool calm of his voice, and yet... Nobody objected to the claim. Many of the rulers looked away. The heroic brothers looked back at her in confusion. Peach had the urge to reach for her hal halberd as means of protection and as a warning. 
Violence was the only language Bowser knew, after all. And if she kept up this, and if she kept up this behavior, she would act in a manner he is familiar with. But just before she could move, the king did. Mario jumped to her side, and Luigi climbed some of the steps in retreat. However, Bowser was not preparing an attack. What he was doing shocked the council. Even the stenographer ceased their typing. In a silent manner, Bowser got on his knees. The room shook softly at the shift of weight. His red eyes looked down. But none of that matters anymore, does it? He whispered. Luigi and Mario exchanged the look again. And Peach gasped softly. Look, was he admitting defeat? This was certainly unprecedented, considering his opening statement. By his words, she assumed Bowser was going to be going on some sort of rant about unfair treatment of his kingdom, which found slightly. If that wasn't the case, what was he doing? The princess took the brooch of her dress, taking a shaky breath. It all ends today, as Peach here stated. I've been bested. My army has no general, a kingdom with no king, he said. A son with no father, the last bit was mumbled. However, Peach took notice of Luigi's reaction. His eyes widened. He would inquire about this later. Peach narrowed her eyes. What are you getting at? She asked informally. Have mercy on my people. Mercy? The Darklands have been eating their land for peace for decades. Uh, and eating their dreams of peace for decades. Even before Bowser's time as ruler. Every King Koopa follows the path of war. Lives have been taken. And he has the audacity to ask for mercy? Ludicrous. The Toadstool Princess looked at her royal companion, taking note of their mixed reaction. Queen Bean has one bulky arm around Daisy's shoulder, and has her pressed against herself, effectively muffling the princess's curses. King Boreas and Toadsworth have had flabbergasted expressions. Most look horrified and angry, and there was even the occasional look of disgust, but... Even so, he still spoke. Please spare them. The invasion, the taking of your stars, that was my planning and doing. My people were only following their king. Their soldiers were only following orders, he said, looking down. Whatever punishment you have in store, place it upon my shoulders and mine alone. Whispering began. All eyes locked on Pete, their gazes asking the same question. What was his punishment? Terrorizing so many kingdoms was not a crime that could be taken lightly. This trial was highly controversial. If they were to sentence Bowser to death, citizens may question if it were truly, past, truly the past of the state portrayed to be. Too light of a sentence will spread outrage through the masses like wildfire. But the princess knew the proper penalty. It was not perfect, but the backlash will not be so drastic. That was good enough for Pete. However, the pink dress royal paused for a moment. She needed more information, and this is the only time the two may interact. Might as well make it count. He wanted to know why. What in the name of the, what in the name of Star Fright would ever compel him to do such a bold crime? If it wasn't for, pow for power, as he implies, then for what? Princess Peach leaned her hand on her temple. That is a peculiar way of apologizing. You ask for forgiveness, but just a moment earlier you insulted me in this court. Take what you could get. Small Umbers escaped his lips and fell down, scorching the tiled floor. We felt evidence that Bowser was losing his temper on the count of his tense muscles, and despite this, he was trying to keep himself composed to seek out, seek out her favor. Suddenly. <laughs> I read ahead. My bad. <gasps> Suddenly. <laughs> No, 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 I just glanced down and I just see Daisy speak. Um, suddenly, Princess Daisy whistled for even the queen's grasp. She just stood up on, uh, upon the desk and her gown hiked to her waist. She was ready for a fight. And why in hell's name would we ever be merciful towards you? Bowser gave her an unamused look. Remember this, Princess. There's always two sides to a story. Two parts that make up the truth, he said. King Boreas stood up. And what truth would that be? He spoke out, calling calling for order. But even so, everyone's attention was solely focused on the king. Even if she was furious, she should be in control of the situation. Keeping him power was a dangerous mistake. 
That was their side eye speech. Remember when I said you turned your back on us? Remember when I practically begged for you for your help? He said, his voice rising. Oh no. The courtroom collectively retreated. Bowser stood his feet, stood to his feet, and turned to the other rulers. He let out a dry chuckle. Did you know that the oh benevolent Princess Peach refused to help a kingdom in need? My home was dying and my people were suffering. Ooh. Confusion <laughs> Confusion seeped into the room. Peach's chest rose and fell with unease. It felt like a force was squeezing her lungs. Her decision? The decision she made all those years ago had come back on her. Suddenly, Daisy stomped her sneaker foot, nearly cracking the wood. Quit dodging the question. In what condition would the, would, could the Koopa Kingdom be for it to ask its enemies for help? Bowser clenched his fist, his muzzle crunching up with a raid. Peach reached behind her, the pinky curling around the metal handle of her weapon. Sometimes, she wishes Daisy weren't, wasn't so str headstrong. It was true he asked for help. However, Peach was under no obligation with this. After all, they are the victims. A call for aid does not erase centuries of bad blood. The Mushroom Kingdom was peaceful, but not a pushover. The princess was so entangled in her thoughts she nearly missed his words. No, she nearly missed the massive bomb on that dropped on the courtroom. My kingdom has no power, Star. You could hear a pin drop. There were no gasps or whispering, just dead silence, and Luigi slowly looked at Mario, his eyes wide. His brother stared back at him with a similar expression. How... How has the Koopa Kingdom been surviving? How could no one know this? From Luigi's understanding, Power Star provides Kingdom's life force with its magic, crops, grew, and the environment was stable for life. In times of need, the rulers could borrow their power. It was a symbol of hope and strength. Its existence ensured the nation's prosperity. A kingdom with no star was dead in the water. And yet, here's the biggest exception of the century. A powerful, militaristic country that has the others in a chokehold of fear, all without the aid of a power star. But Luigi wasn't paying attention to that part, because his words, Bowser has revealed his motive in his kingdom's biggest weakness. The Koopa King was just exposed his belly to his adversaries. What was he doing? Luigi knew. He was perfectly uncovering himself for the sake of his people. But the other Kingdoms truly be despicable enough to attack a country that was already struggling? Back in his word, Luigi would have said yes instantly, but, and, but this wasn't Earth. These people were different. He wanted to think that they, he wanted to think that they were different, but Luigi was not born yesterday. He had to intervene now, but how? What will his words carry any weight? Luigi was an outsider with no genuine affiliation to any kingdom. Hell, he's not even of this world. His heart jack hammered against his ribcage. Luigi's hands twitched. He felt like he was about to pass out. Peach's words sounded muffled. I've heard enough. I think it's time for the verdict, he said coldly. Do I speak now? I don't even know what Peach is planning, he thought. Luigi tugged at his glove, gnashing his teeth. He could put Pitt each in an uncomfortable position, and it, it would look suspicious. What if they think he's a traitor? What if they turn on him for sympathizing with the enemy? His heart was going to explode. Was he really doing anything wrong? He was just protecting a child. One couldn't blame him for not wanting to contribute to the retribution of an already suffering realm. Uh, scusi, princess, principessa. Having no control over himself, Luigi moved between Peach and Bowser, and Mario raised an eyebrow and reached out to him, but he shook him away. The sounds of change moving occurred behind him. A bead of sweat rolled down his temple, and Peach tilted her head. Yes, Luigi, what do you have to say? Perhaps he would like a say in the verdict, said Queen Bee. I mean, Queen Bean. It would only be fair, lo uh, little man here helped kick her ass. Might as well include him in the decision, Princess Peach. To the snarky princess in orange. Wait, what? The crowd nodded and mumbled in agreement. 
Bowser growled deeply behind him. Luigi better act fast or else he's going to be with one roasted Italian. The green, the green plumber whimpered, tongue-tied. Peach leaned forward to encourage him with a nod, which was not helpful. And King Boris adjusted his crown and spoke, which, again, was not helpful. Proceed, Super Luigi. What do you think is the punishment fit for a king? Ha, merda. Uh, his punishment should be him dating this Italian plumber. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Solve the issue. Perfect. House arrest. <laughs> house arrest. And, and the house is ah. Luigi's house. <laughs> oh, God. You said You know what that last part means? No, what does huh? it mean? Uh, ah, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> In Italian? <laughs> yeah. I I'm pretty sure that's what it means. I'm also realizing, it's like... It's like the equivalent. I'm gonna use that for now on. <laughs> you don't need to do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm realizing you said all that very beautifully, like the, the whole chapter, and it was so elegant, and I'm about to butcher everything in this one, and it's the follow-up of, of, like, the conclusion of your thing. <laughs> Alright, fuck, chapter 8, unfortunate spotlight. <sighs> God, maybe maybe I am the lawyer, defendant, victim, prosecutor, judge, <laughs> <laughs> peanut gallery. <laughs> I'm everyone. <laughs> oh, and the witness. <laughs> and the witness. <laughs> I'm everyone. <laughs> the muttering of powerful anarchies intensified. Luigi stood there, frozen in place. Peach nervously looked at him, barely holding back a frown. The green plumber could feel the blood rushing to his ears because of the embarrassment. Here he was standing like a deer in headlights before an allied council, without even knowing what he was doing. Or why. He barely knows Bowser, or even that. All he knows is bad. But he wasn't doing this for him, was he? Junior was his real motivation. However, he couldn't speak. His words were caught in his throat. And thankfully, his brother jumped in to save him. Mario stepped over to him. He gently squeezed his shoulder. <clears throat> Can we convene in private? I don't think we could discuss this in front of him. He pointed at Bowser with his thumb. The Koopa King hissed. Peach nodded and stood up. The council will be taking a short recess, she says. Toadsworth, if you'd be so kind. With a flourish, the royal ab advisor tapped his cane. The platform Bowser stood on shifted and started to descend. He stumbled slightly, but caught himself. He stared intently at the twins, eyes twitching. Luigi watched in slow motion as the Koopa King inhaled deeply, then... <laughs> that is the most you're getting from me. <laughs> Mario yelped and growled his brother. The council screamed. Bowser released a furious torments of flames. The magical barrier did its job. The inferno was shot back at him, but that didn't seem to harm him. It created a terrifying image in a dark outline that he was returned to the dungeon steps. Peach sighed. I'm so ready for this day to be over, she muttered. Toadette patted her arm. How the fuck can she pat her arm? Isn't she like, doesn't she tower over the toads? <laughs> She's like I at think. least two and a half toads high. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> Please tell me you know the curse image of like toad with like human legs. Toads that is like that. <laughs> I, I'm afraid I do not. I'll send it to you afterwards. <laughs> gotcha. It's, it's a beautiful image. Me and Faith though. This will take but a moment. Surely Master Luigi has an important message, he said. Oh, that's Toadsworth. I thought that was Toadette. Oh, I didn't do this right. <laughs> I read the show to order. <laughs> Toadette pat her arm. Soon, my dear, we'll all know the verdict anyway. And then Toadsworth said that shit that I just said earlier. My bad. <laughs> Toadsworth had a feminine voice for a second. My bad. <laughs> Luigi looked at the floor. Mario frowned slightly at, at the jab and stood protectively next to him. They watched as the crowd filed into separate chambers, 
Only attendants of lower-ranked officials remained in their seats. Luigi rubbed his face. What am I doing? He asked himself. Mario put a hand on his hip. I was hoping you can answer that for me, he replied. The green plumber groaned. Mario gave him a, one, a once-over. Just like him, his brother was concerned and confused. I mean, if I simply tell them the truth, would it be that bad? He thought. Something about the whole situation felt off. For example, what was Bowser talking about? He said he asked Peach and the Kingdoms for help, but they turned him away. Why would it? Why not take it if there was a way to subdue the, the Koopa Kingdom and finally have their peace? The Allied Kingdoms would provide help, granted that Bowser learns the error of his ways, so why didn't they do that? They didn't... they didn't even try. Luigi? The man jumped at the sound of Mario's voice. Luigi put a hand on his chest, trying to calm his racing heart. His brother sighed. Just... just know that I'll be right behind you, okay? No matter what. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> and they do like that, like, the bro fist bump of, like, the... <laughs> Like, like when you slap your... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do like... Uh, they do like dap each other up <laughs> in the middle of the courtroom. <laughs> the Italian... The, the twin Italians walked up to the adjacent chamber of the courtroom. Luigi sat for a moment to take a deep breath before he went inside. The ruler muttered against themselves. A mutter amongst themselves. Like Among Us. Like the, that hit video game from... Among, <laughs> among Us. From that one time. Yeah, that, that thing. Yeah, the one time from that thing with the guys. This is yeah, basically cool. Among Us. Like, they're voting to vote them out. <laughs> <laughs> they're, <No>. calling, <laughs> they're calling a meeting to see if that Bowser's the imposter. <laughs> <laughs> no. Alright. <laughs> Some clutching cups of steaming tea. Others stretched. Just like Luigi, everyone was under tremendous stress. The Orange Princess. What was her name? Daisy. Lowey talked to Peach. Imagine this! A duel! A fight to the death! Only it's rigged, obviously! Luigi pinched the bridge. Real. <laughs> I love her. I love Daisy. I. Uh, that's a good shit that I love. Like, from back in the day. Fucking Luigi x Daisy. That was a good pairing. There was. Yeah. Please tell me, like, Jolene, did, back in the day... <laughs> On YouTube, did you ever watch? Yes. The, the answer is yes. The <laughs> Luigi and Daisy sort of slideshow type yes, videos slide with the music like... over it. I watched those. I watched the fuck out of those. Oh, like, and you know that you're toxic. <laughs> my yes, I know the exact one you're talking about. It's the one with Mr. L on the cover. Yes. Because Be <laughs> <laughs> there's a Mr. L and Daisy. Yes. <laughs> All right, everyone else in the comments, oh, like yeah. everyone else watching, they're like, "What the fuck are these two talking about?" <laughs> we're we're on drugs. Yeah, you know when I loaded up my my old YouTube uh, account just to like check on something, mm -hmm. uh, the last thing I watched was that <laughs> before That's I abandoned so the account. <laughs> yeah, you you're know still what? valid. Yeah, ten year old me was on some shit. <laughs> you sure were yeah. drugs. <laughs> Alcohol. Lord knows. Yeah. <laughs> Peach pinched the bridge of her nose. Daisy, for the last time, his sentence is eternal imprisonment. That's it. Princess Daisy crossed her arms and sat back in her seat. Queen Bean shook her head and rolled her eyes. King Boris rubbed her flippers on her... Oh, rubbed his flippers on his chin. I agree with Toadstool... The Prootstool Princess... Permanent incarceration will ensure the safety of the future generations, and y you can't. Everyone turned at him. Luigi internally screamed. That was his second outburst today. Why was he so emotional about this? Swallowing the lump in his throat. It's the son. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a father. The son, that, the son he has not yet acquired. Yeah. <laughs> I've acquired the child. <laughs> Saw a new lump in his throat. The human took off his cap. Mario stood by him. Luigi was grateful for that. His brother was supporting him unconditionally. Luigi took a shaky step forward. Uh, apologies, King Boris. I didn't mean to be rudely interrupt. I didn't mean to rudely interrupt, he stammered. But I think there's something you should know. Screw it. Screw saving face. And being honest, Luigi can save Junior by becoming a ch 
from being a child ruler. He can stop Bowser from enduring a, a harsh and slightly unfair punishment. And more pressing, he can prevent the rulers from losing a piece of themselves in an effort to get revenge. Luigi gulped. Um, stealing Bowser away won't solve the problem. In fact, it could create a bigger one. He fiercely covered his face with his hat. Peach shot Mario a look of confusion. The older brother shrugged, having absolutely no clue of Luigi's plan. All he could do was quietly encourage him. The younger twin lowered his cap and took a deep breath. King Bowser has a son. <laughs> he what? <laughs> Shrieks and gasps rang out. Many dropped their kindly provided refreshments, and the sound of glass shattering echoed through the room. Princess Daisy jumped so violently, she toppled her chair backwards. Mario s stepped into the chaos. Wait a minute, none of you knew this? He asked. No one has dared into the Dark Lands. We c considered sending spies, but it did not- Well, we did not because it's too dangerous, said the, the Penguin King. We never for- <laughs> Did you just say the loser? Yeah. Coward. <laughs> skill issue. <laughs> we never foresaw Bowser taking a queen. We uh, believed he wanted to throw an all to himself, gasped Queen, queen Bean. Is no one going to help me up? Peach stood up and, and walked towards her falling cousin. She helped her up to her feet without looking away from the brother. Luigi, how do you know this? Luigi bit his bottom lip. The prince stopped by the dungeon, he said in a high voice. Oh, that's not what I did. <laughs> it's fine. The princess's eyes almost bugged out of her head. Mario leaned close to his brother. Uh... <laughs> Eli Rizzaro Chiti Ha Fosco Usker? He asked. <laughs> Can the comments tell me what the fuck he asked? By the way... It says he's, he's the, the guy, guy who let you out. out. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> I know what that word means. It means yes. <laughs> I'm glad you know. Yeah, can you imagine all the Spanish lessons I've been taking on Duolingo, and I look at that word, I'm like, fuck, it could be anything. That <laughs> uh, I would laugh. <laughs> yeah, I look at it, I'm like, oh, that means to sleep. I know that word. <laughs> Mario inhaled sharply and bit his knuckle. Luigi felt like someone punched him in the stomach. He has never lied or held a secret from his brother. He trusted ev they trusted each other and shared practically everything. He put his cap back on and shielded his eyes with it. Princess Peach rubbed her temples and motioned her hands towards Queen Bean. The rumbus queen turned her closed eyes to the brothers. This does change everything, she says. Boris frowned. What is our new course of action? If we go through with this, the prince will fall right into the, into his father's footsteps, or even worse. He muzzled, amused. Uh, I don't feel comfortable taking, taking someone's parent away, enemy or not," said another. Luigi's ears. Yeah, you tell him whoever said that. Yeah. Watch. Well, well, the king's. I don't know who the fuck said that. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's Queen Bean. She's a stan. I love her. Ooh, love her. <laughs> Luigi's ears squirked at that. He looked up and noticed all the uncomfortable demeanors. Seats squirming, hands folding. Avoidance of eye contact. He was relieved at this. The compassion was still there. Peach exchanged looks of her royal, her fellow loyals. Uh, lo royals, fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Were you- what were you- did you say to me? Don't worry about it, don't worry about it, keep reading. <sighs> Taking note of their reaction before returning to her seat. Mario, Luigi, what do you suggest? She asked. Mario looked at Luigi, whose eyes glimmered with an idea. He patted his shoulder. Luigi seems to know, he does. Oh fuck. Th there is something we may try. In our world, we have community service! That's no. what I'm <laughs> 
Yeah. No, I was just making a joke in my head, like, like since, like, the Mushroom Kingdom is such a passive, like, area, like, not a lot of crime happens because to- they're toads. They're, they don't do uh-huh. anything. So I'm like, watch it be like, you've been sentenced to, like, 10,000 hours of community service. <laughs> and all the toads are like, mm, yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> I was, if I made a joke in my head, I didn't think it would actually come true. <laughs> in our world, we have community service. It's meant for smaller crimes, however. He motioned for Mario to continue. Mario, uh, what the fuck is it? Goffed? Guffawed? Guffawed. Guffawed. I feel like we've over, we've done this word before. Have we? I'm pretty sure. Cause, Cause I would have read that as kafafa weed. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how humiliating it would be to have Bowser, a king, repair all the kingdoms he destroyed? The Allied Council glanced at each other. Luigi opened his mouth to clarify his true intentions. Then he decided, whatever. Otherwise, that successful. The- fuck. But decide otherwise, as that suggests successfully caught their attention. Mario raised his hand. We can prevent another mass scale attack and fix the damage done to our, your kingdom more quickly. Luigi stepped forward. A- and and we can perhaps build a relationship between the Dark Lands and the Allied Kingdoms. Grudges don't know. Wait, grudges don't do good for anyone, he said. Thankfully, the rulers agreed with him. Princess Peach smiled slightly at him, moved by his words. All they wanted was peace, and if this was a way to get it without going through another attempted evasion, then so be it. The council delib- deliberated. D- yeah. <laughs> they deliberated, weighing the pros and cons of such a plan. It was much to consider, after all. The seven main kingdoms were affected and their capitals weren't exactly close to the Mushroom Kingdoms. Uh, okay, there we go, scrolled. Furthermore, it was a matter of how Bowser and his army would get get to the destroyed sites. Luigi highly doubted that the king would is getting his f- flying fortress back. However, he tuned their conversation out as the adrenaline left his system. He just wanted the day to be over. Mario wrapped an... Oh, wrapped an arm around his shoulder. I was like, he did. He wrapped an <laughs> his shoulder and commended him for his actions. The younger brother responded with a shy smile, relieved that he prevented the razzing of an entire kingdom and helped someone get on the right track. Plus, if he was going by the son's position, Luigi has to bring Junior lunch and tell him the news. Wow, he never told them. They're like, they're like, oh, by the way, uh, that that I know about the son because he's he's been living in my room. He's in the closet. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like telling Junior the news. Oh, no, I'm mean, like, I mean, like, wait, no one's question. Like, wait a minute, how did you know he had a son before we did? And, and they're like, oh, uh, they could have just referenced it to like you know when he was in jail. Yeah, when he was in prison. The brothers watched as the council members exited the chamber, all but Princess Peach. Mario and Luigi turned around, ready to cross the threshold, when suddenly the doors closed on their own accord. The green plumber screamed and jumped into his brother's arms, causing Mario to stumble and nearly fall. The cackle of heels caught their attention. Princess Peach stepped down the stairs, a stern and somewhat angry look on her features. She walked towards a nearby hole, leaned by a wall, and and leaned her ear against it. A pink aura fluttered around her. Toesworth and Toesette loomed nearby, nervously wringing their hands. After a few seconds of tension, Peach straightened up and raised her gaze at Luigi. A man, the man gulped. What was he? What has he done to her, the princess's ear? Was she was she upset that she that he overturned her original decision? Luigi, the verdant, verdant. Yeah, the verdant Italian wrung his hands. I- yes, princess? Oh. <laughs> Peach put her hands on her hips. Can you explain why there's a coupling in your bedroom? She asked sternly. Silence. <laughs> That's when I felt my head hit the wall. Boom. 
<laughs> Mario slightly turned to Luigi and noticed how tense he got. A bl he blinked a few times, glancing at Peach and then Luigi. But his brother didn't notice. The man stared at Peach with a terrified look on his face. H how does she know? Junior hasn't left his room since Luigi found him in the gardens. Peach raised her hand. Luigi, I need an exclamation. She said. Toadsworth tapped his cane harshly. Young man, what have you done? You have been harboring the offspring of our enemy? Mario stepped in front of him. Whoa, 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 take it easy, Toadsworth, he said. I will not. He has deceived us, and we will graciously welcome you into our home and revert it and refer to you as heroes. We, you were rewarded by treason. Oh, we were. Fuck. <laughs> Treasury. Fuck, I messed up everything. It's okay. It's okay. Jolie, why do you hang out with me? <laughs> Aww. The otherly toad stomped his little feet and waved his arms around, steam almost coming out of his ears. Toadette grabbed his arm, trying to soothe his anger. Peach touched the brooch of her dress and made a pulling motion, extracting a trail of pink light. She waved it over the arene toad. Almost instantly, the royal advisor ceased his yelling and crumbled to his knees. Toadette caught and gently helped him lay down. Man, she just put this motherfucker to sleep? <laughs> what kind of drugs are in that thing? <laughs> she did what she had to. Man, I wish I had that, because I can make myself knock out for a little bit, because sometimes I struggle to, like, calm down for sleep. That would be a miracle worker. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that right <laughs> now. What? <laughs> I don't know. Do you use it on myself? So what? Like, anyway, it's like when people take like one of those melatonin uh, like pills because like they can't fall asleep, so they take it and it calms them down. Mm -hmm. And then and then they pass out because I don't. Does their head hit the wall? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Princess Peach inhaled sharply. Let's not jump to conclusions. You have a good heart, Luigi. We're just we're just a little scared, she said. He let me go, Princess. Replied Luigi. When when you and uh, Mario infiltrated the f the fortress, Junior came to the cell. I talked to him a little bit and convinced him to let me out. Princess Peach nodded slowly. I see, she said calmly. But why have you been keeping up a secret? Luigi twisted his gloves. I, I was afraid of your reaction, and Junior was also scared. I just wanted to... <laughs> his words jumbled together. Very softly, Peach put her hand on her sh on his shoulder. Luigi felt a warm course through him. His heart and breathing slowed. Tears stung his eyes. He almost felt like he was wrapped in his blanket back home. Mario glanced at his reaction, amazed by the princess's magic touch. She literally has the magic touch. She just like <laughs> just makes him pass out. <laughs> <laughs> the anger that that glimmered in her eyes simmered away and was replaced with a soothing, almost motherly dis disposition. She gently took his hands. I know for a fact that you had the best intentions. I'm just glad we had cleared this up, she said. Luigi tilted his head. You're not angry at me? He stammered. Peace shook her head. Absolutely not. The Prince Jr. is a mere child. He had nowhere to go and, you also, and he also helped you escape. You were doing the most logical thing anyone with a decent soul would do. Yeah, Ouija. Oh. You're just a kid. <laughs> what? I mean, if she knew, then why was she so willing? Yeah, so she about to fucking man. chop off Luigi's head, dog. <laughs> Dude, I was I was scared for, for Luigi. I I thought this was gonna end with like them both being thrown in prison, and that's how the story was gonna go until they both get executed. <laughs> Oh my god! It builds like this nice relationship, only for it to end in like in like death. <laughs> now that's an angst uh, we're story. Getting, we're getting so dark so quickly. I'm sorry. First we talk about <laughs> taking the head off a dead body, and now we're talking about execution of people and children. <laughs> no, just Luigi and Bowser. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about what about Bowser Jr.? He lives, but then becomes the new ruler of the Dark Lands, and then he takes revenge for his two dads, and that's where the story ends. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> See? Angst with the happy ending question mark? <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say to that. 
Don't say anything. <laughs> yeah, Ouija. He's a kid. I can't blame you for helping someone in need. He added Mario as he rested his hands on his hips. Luigi sighed. He almost collapsed right then and there. Princess Peach patted his back as his hand... Wait, patted the back of his hands while his brother patted his back. Just, uh, no more secrets, please? He asked. Luigi rubbed his Little neck. Little does he know. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> Just, uh, oh yeah, I already read that. Luigi rubbed his neck sheepishly and snickered. Peach bumped her hip against his side, giving him a look. The easily anxious man nodded, then Mario perked up. Speaking of secrets, how how did you know Junior was in Luigi's room? He asked. I connected to this place, Mario. The power star's magic flows throughout the king the castle, and that very same magic was blessed upon my family. It essentially runs through my blood, she replied, blushing slightly. The brother exclaimed in awe and surprise. Suddenly, Toadette cleared her throat. Your Highness, the the council is waiting for you! Oh shit, god damn it! <laughs> oh, it says- okay, it says Toadette. Uh, they just put he said for some reason. I thought it was Toadsworth. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Gasped Peach. We still have a verdict to divulge. Let's go. Many kingdoms to fix. Toadette, please have someone take Toadsworth to his room. I think he had enough excitement for today. Yes, princess! Uh, Peach slightly lifted her gown and briskly moved towards the exit. Mario and Luigi exchanged a look, adjusting their casts, and quickly followed the pink lad, pink clad, clad royal. Clad. <laughs> Sorry, I've been seeing a lot of Steven Universe clips. <laughs> they had a lot of work ahead of them. I love it. <laughs> This is the best book ever. Too bad it takes us two chapters an episode, though. Wild. Yeah. We gotta I mean, we could, we could squeeze in a third. I'm kidding. <laughs> Hell no! I can see the time. <laughs> anyway, Jolene, what do you think? You love it? Or you, you love amazing. it? amazing. I do love it. I do love it. I'm very excited because this is very long because they keep updating. Right now, The they've recently updated... Uh, the latest one is chapter 43. Oh my god! This is gonna be the longest running book on our channel! <laughs> Am I- oops. Yeah. Hour. Sorry. <laughs> I was already thinking that we were in the Soviet <laughs> Union. <laughs> Hour. Oh my god. Yeah. I, yeah, this Can is I, the announcement oh god, video. Are you gonna- Does that mean I get to be- <laughs> I, I, if I die, you become up. Phoenix Flare. <laughs> it's you now. Oh my, oh my god, this, it's like it's like becoming the Avatar. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like when Matt Pat retired and like he, he gave his like channel to like a new spokesperson and whatnot for like like who's like the forefront of the different theory channels. If I if I retire, it's yours, my friend. <laughs> You're oh my god. in charge of the That's channel. That's a big responsibility. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's a big responsibility. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> womp womp. Anyway, I love this. Uh huh. I want. I can't wait to see. <laughs> I can't wait to see Bowser in an orange suit, having the pick up trash on the side of the room <laughs> for wow. his community service. <laughs> I wish I said it in the video too. Of like, oh, what are they gonna do? Send to the community service? Uh huh. <laughs> but I <Crazy>. didn't. <laughs> what about what about our the special thing? The special thing? Oh, the wheel. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, what are you hoping for? Um. Okay, it's either uh, Bowie G again, or maybe. My Sword and Shield. It's been a while since we read that one. Yeah. Actually, I don't want to go on Luigiism while Luigiism does, uh. Oh, yeah, we can finish it. it. Yeah. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Got a lot of hope. You know what they say, Jolene? Don't do that. <laughs> Yay, Sanji! <laughs> it's my boy! 
<laughs> did we did we start a funky X reader? Yeah, the uh, I think it's called the blue bouquet. Oh, I I'm so used to just you writing typing it in. Yeah, I guess like, I forgot. <laughs> dang. Yeah, oh, professional. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm off my shit right now. <laughs> yeah. No, Jolene, you're right. I need to get my shit together. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> You've had a rough week. Yeah. Hey, it's better now. I don't, don't have to worry about it. That's what, that's what the great thing about having ADHD. You just forget things. Oh, is so-and-so still mad at you? What, my dad? <laughs> Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know if I was allowed to mention him. Dude, but, yeah. He, he called me today, and he wasn't like he he was back to his normal self. So I guess he got over it. <laughs> yeah, hello. Yeah. Well, I hope so. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Stop being morbid. <laughs> Sorry. Something about these recordings, man. All right. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, man. How how many fucking morbid things that I bring up in this? At least three. Like three. <laughs> well, I, I brought up the angst of the the happy ending, and then that thing. That's not even other... happy. <laughs> well, it's a happy ending for someone. <laughs> also, why the fuck oh did Elf goodness. message me? Yeah, Elf, you're being called out in a in a Wattpad book club right now. Oh shoot, Elf, did I answer your message? <laughs> My bad. <gasps> He finished the Verasica merch video, holy shit. <laughs> Finally. Oh my god, that spooked me. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> what if I just went, oh my god, Elf got hit by a car? No! <laughs> no! Like that cry. four things, I'm sad. <laughs> Instead of calling an ambulance, he's like, he's like, you. <laughs> I know you guys don't live in Antarctica, but can you guys call me in? <laughs> It'll take a double <laughs> Stop, we're getting <laughs> we gotta stop talking about weed. <laughs> but it's so much fun. <laughs> Something fucked up with us. What's so wrong with us? Yeah. I'm doing better. Cause they drop my hours by one and I'm having time. What you have like one less hour to work? Yeah. Instead of doing 11s and back at 10. It's probably just for this week, but, you know. Okay. Back at regular schedule. Good for you, man. <laughs> I don't work Fridays now anymore. I have... <laughs> what? Oh, I don't work Fridays. <gasps> I don't know what that means. Oh my god, you want to do something? You want to go to the mall and, like, get our nails done? And, like, talk about I actually girls. have a about... <laughs> Talk about girls. I don't girl? know. I, that was the you first thing I, girls. I that was the first thing I thought of. All right, don't make fun of me. <laughs> anyway, you got a voucher. <laughs> yeah, for my birthday, I got a voucher to do my nails, but it's in somewhere. It's somewhere else. Yay! Good for you, girl. I'm I haven't gotten my nails done in a while. <laughs> I just keep. You've had your nails done before? Yeah. What was it? I've never had like, my nails done before. for prom. And then I never got to go. So what, four years ago? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah, because I didn't get to go to prom. I didn't go to the one in junior year. I was going to go to the one senior year, but then COVID hit. I went to parties all four years, baby. Yeah. <laughs> all three years, technically. You know, senior got fucked up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> right place and right time. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, Jolene, for joining. I highly appreciate it. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Gotta then, love that weedy. Yeah. On screen somewhere is a playlist of all the other Wattpad Book Club readings that I've Ooh, done. Ooh, is it over here? Over here. It's in It's in this corner where the mouse is. <laughs> somewhere in this corner. I don't know. I can't see that corner. Oh, yeah. I the, could... Oh, fuck. Wait, hold on. What's left and right? Uh, bottom left-hand corner. <laughs> And then the top left corner is the last book club reading that I did with someone, so check out that shit. Or not. I, I can't tell you what to do. And, uh, read the book. You're gonna read it faster than we can. <laughs> but anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Jolene, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.